Well, it's about that time of year again to winterize the sprinklers. You can see the snow on the mountain. Right there is the largest open pit mine in the world, Kennecott's Copper Mine. Not long ago they had a big landslide, but anyway, lawn looks fine. I haven't ran the sprinklers in weeks. And uh, so to winterize your sprinklers, you need to locate something that might look a little bit like this. And this is a little backflow preventer. The water's coming up this way, goes that way, and then back down. So if you don't know where this is, one clue usually is to look for your water, your um, shutoff valve that the city uses, and there's ours. You can see it lines right up with the manifold. So, before we shut it off, we have to um, turn off the water in the basement. This is the um, basement concrete wall. On the other side is dirt. So I'm right underneath my porch. And here, from that city shutoff valve, comes the water straight into the house. And it splits off. This is house water. There's the house water shutoff valve. That's a sprinkler shutoff valve. And that's a sprinkler drain. So what we're going to do is shut that off. Now, how you know it's either on or off is if it if this goes with the bar with the pipe then it's um, then it's an open valve if it's perpendicular then it will be in shutting it off so inside is just this little ball it's called a ball valve and it you just do a um, quarter turn so that's off now there won't be any water going to the sprinklers so we'll do this drain second, but right now we've got to pump some uh, air through the pipes and you can see how that works. All right, we shut off the water. So now we can open up these little outlets. Now this one would be the first one and then it goes to this stage. There's another one, another one, another one. So I'll let some pressure go here. Might as well open them all. Okay. Now if I shut off this one, it's a bit rusty. that will um, stop any water coming back this way and I can drain at the end we'll go drain what's left in the stuck in this pipe right here right now this is full of water it only uh, lets out what's under pressure and what's above it so now we'll hook up the compressor and to do that there's threads in here and they match most compressor fittings So I'll put that there, and I'll go ahead and close these ones, just so the uh, the air won't, you know, try to mess around going this way. It's these are blocked. You see how the slat of the screw is perpendicular to the flow of the water. That means these are off. If I can show you here, or if it's too dark. And there's a ball. And you'll be able to see the ball moving open or closed. So, anyway, I hooked that up. Now, 
you got a just a compressor fitting here and that goes on and we will turn on the air compressor so we'll turn it on fill up this tank So the compressor is running right now, and how sprinklers work is when a station's on, you know, a station would be a certain section of sprinklers, you know, how they cycle through each part of your yard. So when a station's on, there's an electrical current going to the valve constantly to keep it open. And as soon as it's done, the electric current stops and the valve shuts closed. So my compressor is a pretty big one, but it really can't keep up with how much air can go through the pipe, so it kind of drains it. So all I'm going to do is I have it off. I'm going to let it charge for a bit and uh, charge meaning fill the tank up with air. And then I can run through here each station and just listen, let it run for a second. Next to your sprinkler box, you're going to want to run, go through the stations so that uh, they can be open and the water will blow out and then the air will blow out. So I'm going to have these on advance. If I push this button, it just goes through. So right now, the first station should be open. So we'll go take a look at that. All right, the tank's up to about a hundred. I'm gonna fill the hose line. Now, right now, that's going through, I think the drip system. So that's flushing that out. Now if you don't have an air compressor and all you could do was uh, undo these like you saw me do before, that's way better than nothing. This is the, um, the part that usually gets destroyed in the winter if it has water in it. It will either crack here, sometimes the internal parts will bust up inside, and uh, this would be real expensive to fix. So if all, again, all you can do is open up these, that's way going to increase your chances of uh, no trouble. Um, come in the spring when everything be, uh, melts and you realize what happened. So. Alright, so back at the box, I'm going to push advance. Now just turn to station number two. So we'll go move the hose back on. Okay, now we're going to go to station three, do the same thing. All right, that last one had almost nothing in it. Let's go to station four. Now you'll notice some of the stations will run like there's, uh, like the sprinklers are just regularly turned on until it gets to the air that you push through. And then you start to see it sputter and splat until there's just air. So, and here I go to the next station. I got several in here, so I'm going to skip to the end. And then I'll show you how to drain the remaining bit of water through your, uh, through your house pipe. 
Okay, with all the water drained out, this is how I like to leave it in the winter. Everything open. See how it's parallel? So that means open. This one's open. Gonna open this one. Open this one. And this one's really hard to move. There we go. And open. So everything's open and uh, it can allow any bit of water, last bits of water to drain and I'll leave it open all winter long. Okay, here we are in the cold storage again. Now, I said I like to leave everything open, but you have to leave one shut off and that's this one here. This stops the water from going to the manifold. But this is the drain, so all the way up here is full of water all the way up and uh, to the manifold so we got to get that out and hopefully your builder installed one of these just a little drain valve I attached a hose to mine to catch some of the water now I'll open this up there we go and you can see it's draining whatever was left in the pipe So that'll fill up. Now what I've noticed, and this is unfortunate, it happens to some people, so this is a really good bit of advice. Um, my neighbors have had theirs professionally winterized, their sprinklers, and um, they felt confident. And in the spring, when the ice began to thaw, uh, their sprinkler line was shooting out water. It was cracked at the manifold, and the most expensive part to fix and um, so they didn't know what happened and what I think what happened is these valves aren't 100% um, uh, fail proof so mine I've noticed will leak just a tiny bit of water and over you know however long your winter is your whole pipe can fill up and, uh, and it can fill up your, your lines again so you think they're empty, but they actually, you know, drip by drip, filled up and then cracked your pipes. So I leave this open all winter long. I leave the top um, ones at the manifold open all winter long. And so this uh, will drain. And I'll get maybe a 2 liter by the end of winter. If I shove this in an empty 2 liter bottle, the whole thing will be filled up. Not much more than that, but that's a lot to shove back in a pipe that you want to be empty. So, I guess that's my one really good bit of advice if you're doing all of this. If you don't have a compressor, at least open up the lines. That'll probably uh, do, if that's all you can do. And then the other thing is keep them all open. Make sure you have one of these to drain out what's left in your pipe and uh, and leave it in some sort of container all winter long so it catches the rest of the water that seeps through. Anyway, I hope that's helped. I know it's been a quite a messy video as far as, you know, it's hard to film with the compressor going, but if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and ask, and either I or somebody else making comments can maybe give you an answer, because I know this is different uh, different layouts and different plumbing in different parts of the U.S. So hopefully uh, somebody else can answer your question if I can't. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, here's another one. Another house. There's the water. You can see the house. It doesn't line up straight, but it's right here off on the side. And this one... different style. There's a manifold. It's buried underground. Just barely. It'll still freeze though. Um, so we got to drain the pipes just the same as the last one you saw. So just in case you can't find yours sticking up out of the ground, look under one of these boxes and you're going to find it.
Here's another way you can do it. Instead of standing at your sprinkler box, turning each, uh, pushing all the buttons, you can manually turn on each valve here. Now the sprinkler box, this goes to your sprinkler control box, and it comes and it separates to each station here. So if I turn this valve, you'll see the sprinklers go on here. And if I turn it off, they go down. So, turn it, and they go on. So you could just go through your valve box here. Doing each one. You could do it like that if you wanted.